So I'm going to be doing the Iridium Super or Super Iridium Extra Stainless and it can be a little confusing and it's the Wisemet blade. You can see right there. See the, see the logo. And an interesting thing is on the wrapper it says something about 434 right at the side. So I'm not sure what that's about. There can be different variations of this blade for sure. And if I recall correctly, I really like it. And I think there were some blades made under one name and then more under a different name. Definitely a smooth one. I'm saving some of these. Um, I dry them off nicely and keep them in the wrapper and I have a little little spot where it kind of can hold in my little Recur 34C uh, holder and that's because some of these great blades you can use well that's wonderful <laughs> you can use several times and so I haven't been using them in between the shaving videos and so I, in the future, will have a nice little device I ordered that's basically a microscope for the cell phone. And uh, I'll keep that sort of as a surprise of exactly what it is. But I would like to show what the blade edge will look like after being used a little bit. Okay, here we go, the fun part. Very nice. I like to think... Aiden Shaves for mentioning me in his channel and I'll uh, have a link to uh, his videos down in the description. Always appreciate the kind of cross community shout outs like that. That's pretty awesome. And I have not done things like straight edge yet as I mentioned before but I certainly do like to learn more and more about technique. So it's, it's always fun. Uh, it's been uh, still some hot days, like in the 90s, and not really used to that. Living on the coast of, of California and the coast of Washington and Puget Sound for most of my life. So a little bit tired. This is uh, These have been pretty much evening shaves lately. So there's one pass. Do a little bit up around the jawline, just pretty about the cheeks usually doesn't need it. I just do a small amount of extra water. For the second pass, I think I'd mentioned that before. And each person, you know, figure out your own little, little way of doing things. What works for you. And then the last pass, I don't really even use any water at all. See right now, this is just that Avenu shaving cream. Right now, it's just a little bit too much water, I think. I do feel some spots I didn't quite get. But those blades are quite nifty. Let's go down here. And I'd say if you really want a nice, enjoyable, classic type shaving experience, you want to make sure to do like actual full mixing and everything. Aiden Shaves, I noticed you, and you're probably watching, I noticed you sprayed the shaving cream into the brush. That is an excellent idea. Then you face lathered. I thought that was great. Whereas I'm just using my hand and doing the kind of super quicky quicky way with no extra cleanup, so to speak. I like that idea. It's kind of an in-between idea. But mixing my own shaving cream, I love that too. When I, when I have the time and everything. But this is a special series of how to do a quick shave and enjoy it with finding the right blades with low irritation. That's kind of the idea of this one. Okay, doing really good. Some people are saying, for one person in general, in general uh, specifically I should say, was saying something about a shorter blade, sorry, a shorter handle, uh, helps make them do uh, shorter strokes, which improves their shave experience compared to the same razor head with a longer handle. 
I uh, trying to think if I have anything where I could experiment with that. I'm not quite sure. I don't think I do. Where I would have enough razors where I could try short and long handle. That's my only short handle. Okay, let's do one more time. This time, just the sh shaving gel without any extra water. And that always seems to give me a little bit more protection once I've already, you know, had enough water on the face and knock down most of the whiskers. And then when it's at that point, it somehow seems to keep the blade a little bit more mild so it's not quite as harsh against my skin. Okay, oops. One thing about Avenu is it likes to clog the sink and it takes a little bit more to a little bit more to rinse off the hands, whereas a nice shaving cream that you mix up, almost all of them, I think everyone that I've tried and a lot that I've watched closely from other videos, they don't seem to really clog. They seem to kind of rinse out a little better. This is fantastic. Feels like something you could use several times. Yes, I'm trying to go against the growth on the last one on the last pass, which normally I don't do, but for this series I am. Okay, here we go, let's see how it does. And you'll see pretty often I turn and turn and turn. So every now and then you have a bad blade that only one side really shaves well and there's like a bad manufacturing situation on the other side. I haven't really experienced that, I don't think. <sighs> Gotta breathe once in a while when you're moving your Adam's apple like that. This is one of the easier ones to shave against the growth, I think. Turn that little glob there, and then I'll go up with it for a little bit. But again, if you guys can't shave against the growth, go and cross growth. Whatever way your whiskers go, you gotta let it go for two or three days to kind of figure that out. Or take a card or something, or maybe even a razor without a blade in it, and that'll kind of help you figure out which direction. Okay. Again, I don't recommend continuing to shave after the cream is gone because that's how you can really irritate your skin. And the point of this is not to irritate the skin, but because I'm taking it to the extreme, that's helping us find out, helping me find out, hopefully helping you find out if you were paying attention and watching for that reason, helping us find out how good each of these blades is in my experience for really getting a close shave but a quick and easy shave with just basic shaving cream in a can and extra comfortable shave cheeks are excellent Adam's apple you saw I had to go over quite a bit I feel it just a hair there but I you know I could go over a little bit more it's hardest for me because it's pretty prominent and I kind of was holding my breath. Here I usually have a bunch, that's pretty well gone. Just the tiniest little here and there. Okay, I'm going to say the sharpness is a 4.5. The smoothness is a, a 4.5. You feel it, again, the analogy of like driving a car where you really feel the tires on the road with the steering. You feel it more where the whiskers are. Um, as far as how it feels on your face, it's great. But how it feels on the razor, I'll say 4.5. So both of them 4.5 and shaving experience, I would say isn't quite at the very top, but it's really phenomenal. So I'll just say 4.5 across the board, uh, sharpness, smoothness, and shaving experience. And thank you guys again 
same kind of copying of the same sort of things for this shave as the other shaves. And use a full outro. This is just to be clear. to me, I'm studying languages. So, those blades are definitely a pass. And take care. Bye-bye.